All right, let's go over how to find the equation of the tangent line using a TI-8483 calculator. It's the same for both models. Okay, I've got an 84 here. The 83 is downstairs. I forgot to bring it up with me. But seriously, it's the same. Oh, I do have the 83 here. It is the same for both calculators. The newer 84 is it's the exact same. So for 83, old 84, new 84, there's no difference on this. First thing you want to do is press Y equals. So I'm going to press the Y equals button up here. I'm going to clear that. I'm going to go ahead and clear all these. Okay. So I'm going to go up to Y1. In Y1, I'm going to put this equation over here. So I'm going to hit 5x squared minus 7x plus 5. This is the one thing that's going to look different between the new calculators and the old is when I type in the 5x squared. The 83s and the older 84s want it typed this way. The newer 84s, when you hit the square button, it puts a subscript, I mean a superscript in. The other way to do it is I could hit 5x, and remember that's the x button, and I could hit the squared button here. Now that looks the same way it would for both calculators. Minus 7x plus 5. Okay, got that in the calculator. Second step is I need a graph. Now, most of the time when you do the graph, you can get away with just pressing the zoom button, which is right here, and then going down to 6 for zoom standard. Okay, so I go down to 6 and press zoom standard. That's going to give me a graph. I don't really care if this graph shows up on the screen or not when I'm working this. It doesn't matter as long as the x value for your tangent line is between these two points you'll get the equation of the line doesn't matter what the graph looks like okay and zoom six sets it the window from negative 10 to 10 in the x-axis now three is in that window so i'm okay with this third step you hit second and when i hit second what i'm looking for is this draw menu right here Okay, it's right above the program button, so I want to draw. So I'm going to hit second, draw. Now, that brings up a menu, and you go down to number five for tangents. Okay, so on the screen here, I'm sorry, I'm staring at very bright lights. I go down to number five, press enter. And it takes you back to the graph and it looks a lot like it didn't do anything. So your fourth step is you have to type in the value of x. Okay, so I want to type in the value of x. And for mine, the value of x right here is x equals 3. So I'm going to type in 3 and press enter. 3, enter. And it gives you the equation of the tangent line down here at the bottom. So it's y equals 23x minus 40. And there, there's my equation of the tangent line. Okay, now I have a second one on here because I want to show you what happens. And I'm probably going to come back and rework that one with the newer TI-84. Because it's going to behave differently. So I'm going to press y equals up here. And I'm going to type x, ln, x in there. So I'm going to hit x. LN, oh, clear. Let's clear that. Type in X, LN, X. Close printing. And we'll go through the same process. We're going to press Zoom 6 to get a graph. Zoom 6. And I get a graph. Then I'm going to hit second draw. And I want number 5 for tangents. You could just press 5. And it said X equals 3, so I'm going to hit 3 and enter. Oh, it's not at x equals 3, it's at x equals e. So, I'm going to hit clear. I'm going to press zoom 6 again. That makes it redraw. Okay. I'm going to hit second, draw, and I'm going to go down to number 5 for tangent. Now, the e button is right here above the divide, so I'm going to hit second, divide, and press enter. Now, some teachers think it's fun to do that where they have weird numbers in here. And you notice I get the equation of the tangent line is y equals 1.999x plus negative 2.718. So let me write that down here. 
where I'm now overriding part of the problem. Y equals 1.999x plus negative 2.718. Now, if you know your numbers, this is really the same thing as 2x plus negative e. And there's your equation of the tangent line. I just want to show you it works with weird number values, okay? I'll be back in a minute with the newer TI-84. We'll work it through so you can see what the screen looks like when you do that. But the 83 works the exact same way as that one. I'm back with that 84. I got the new 84 here. The one with the beautiful light up screen so you can do math at night. Okay? And if you've ever seen this, this is actually a pretty brightly lit screen. That should give you an idea how bright my lights are in this room when you can hardly see this screen. Anyhow, I'm going to press Y equals. I'm going to put my equation in here. I'm going to clear all these. Okay? So I'm going to come up here and put my equation in here. It is X ln X. So I'm going to do X ln X. And the screen does look a little different, but it isn't that much different. I'm going to press zoom 6. We get our graph there in color. I'm going to hit second draw, number 5 for tangents. And you can see it's doing the same thing. Okay. I'm going to hit second E to get my E and graph and it's even drawn the line in the same color and you look at the bottom of the screen it's giving you this exact same answer one thing is it can display a lot more decimals it doesn't do anything fancy like round it for you or anything like that it does the exact same thing so you can see these two are giving you the exact same results so if you got one of these don't go buy one of these okay I, I literally wouldn't trade out this one for it, to be honest, because this one does the same thing, this one, only quicker. If I press Y equals, hit clear, type X, LN, X in there. You see, it's looking just like the 80, old 84 did. Okay, I'm going to press zoom 6 to get that graph. There's my graph. I hit second program 5. I hit the second E button, hit graph, you get the same answer you're getting on this one. I mean, there is no difference in them, okay? So don't go running out and buying calculators if you got an 83. I like the 83. I don't think the 84 was a completely necessary upgrade. This one has a few nice features to it, but it's not perfect, okay? All right, there you go. There's find the equation tangent line with the calculator. Have a good one.